latest information from the CDC indicates Texas still has a big problem when it comes to teenagers drinking and driving. We bring in Brian Lewis. He's the CEO of the verification system IntelliCheck. So we're ready. Brian, how bad is this issue here in Texas? You rank number six in the country for the level of the most teens drinking and driving. Um, 7% said they've driven when they've been drinking, and 20% say they've gotten into cars with people who have been drinking. So, so it is dangerous. I would agree. And, you know, the real thing is the Texas ABC is doing a good job of going in and performing these stings on the stores that are selling alcohol to minors. The problem is that what they're missing is the folks who are going in and buying with these phenomenally good fake IDs that just about every kid knows how to buy on the Internet nowadays. And the laws really just state that a visual inspection is all that's required. So your typical store owner is not going to be able to determine if this is a fake ID and that they are selling to the underage. So obviously the state of Texas, we are dealing with a major problem, and it seems like maybe this does not get the attention that it deserves. And Brian, why is this particularly concerning at this time of the year? Does it have to do with football season of all things? Uh, You know, I think back to school, football, college parties, high school parties starting back up again. Uh, it, It seems that this is, you know, typically a time of year where we see more accidents and things. Uh, from this drinking epidemic amongst the youth. So, you know, I love seeing the Texas ABC going out and doing the enforcement. Uh, what I'd really love to see is if we passed laws as a nation that made people authenticate a license, make sure it's real. Because, you know, we raised the drinking age to 21. They're talking about raising the drinking age, the, the vaping age to 21. None of that matters if it's still easy for somebody to go get a fake and buy these age-restricted products until the legislature puts teeth in the laws and says you need to authenticate a license this problem will continue brian what else can parents do you know because this is an age-old problem our parents dealt with it when we were teenagers now we do as parents how do we get that message across to our kids as parents I think two things. One, you know, talk to your kids. It's really important. And then the other thing, too, is parents should know and inform their their children what happens to them if they're caught with a fake ID. In Texas, the fine is anywhere from 500 to $2,000 for using a fake ID to go buy alcohol or or vaping products. That's pretty serious, and that can really put a damper on your career. So I think just educating that these fakes aren't just fun. They are really a problem. It's Brian Lewis from IntelliCheck.